Dear Going Guns, today our topic is using a range in the formula. Before this, we were in our previous videos, we were doing the calculation by ourselves. We used to write the formula and then calculate. Now today we'll see how to use a proper range in our formula. Say we want to calculate the data uh, sum, we want to calculate the whole 12 months sales. So in total, what we'll write is is equivalent to, then I'll write sum sum means to calculate then we'll start with bracket now you have to click on the cell from where you want to calculate and drag it to the cell where you want to stop so as you all can see instead of writing each cell address in the formula and then with the plus operator I have just selected a range that is B4 to B15 now I'll just close this bracket and click enter and I got my result so we have what we have to do is we have to just write is equivalent to sign is equal to sign sum and then in brackets we have to write the range the sum value will be displayed in our cell and as we all know the value gets displayed in the cell but the form in the formula bar the formula is getting displayed so this was using range in the formula bar see now here if I want to calculate uh, if I want to check the average of all these month expenses so we'll write is equal to then I'll write average okay now colon I'll select my range here it is and then click on bracket close so average is 4637.5 pesos uh, for example say for example sometimes we don't remember the formulas so we can use them uh, from formula bar as you all can see we have a tab of formulas we can use here as well we have an in insert function we can choose any of the function say for example count you know what count does it can it counts the number of the cells in the range that contains number so if I'll select a range it will count the number of the cells in which the data is present say I will select the range already a range is selected that is C4 to C16 but no I'll just choose a range by myself that is this C4 to C15 so as you all can see here it has taken all the numbers and the result of the formula is 12 and yes it is right because we know we have chosen a range from Jan to December and we know we have 12 months in a year so the data will be also in the 12 months only this is another way of using formulas let's just choose another formula say here we want the result or we want the average of any two numbers I want average okay and then here we'll choose the location I want average of this and this okay so what average returns it okay so average is 7600 so averages I hope you all are able to see the formula average is 7600 now let's just check it randomly by writing it so I'll just write the cell address so which it was this This is how we calculate the function using the formulas that are already there. If we don't know the formula, we don't know the how to operate. So we have ready-made formulas. We have in the formula tab a number of formulas which we can use. And in insert function, we can edit the formula. Here we can just use them. We cannot edit them. Okay. So here we have free, infrequently used, we have some frequently used formulas. If you want to insert a fun, formula by ourselves which is not present in the Excel, we can do that as well by using insert function. So try to use some formulas in your Excel sheet. This was for today. Thank you so much.